question here is, you know, how, how are threats getting inside our networks and then how are they staying um, undetected for an extended period of time? And I think there are a number of different reasons for that. Firstly, I think our traditional security architectures have had us building a hardened shell around our networks and relying on that hardened shell to effectively prevent threats from getting inside our networks. The problem is though, over the past few years, um, our network and service architectures have evolved to make that increasingly difficult. We now use um, mobile devices that we take home and connect outside of our network perimeter security and then bring them back inside the organisation. We have personal devices that we synchronise corporate data to. We have direct connectivity to extranet partners. We use cloud-based data and application services. All of these things have made our network perimeter far more porous and that's made it um, harder for us to keep everything out. So over the same time period, we've also seen um, threats evolve as well, and we've seen attackers targeting a broader threat service, surface, targeting ancillary software applications, such as you know, Adobe targeting JavaScript, things like that. Attackers are leveraging you know, well-known exploits and ways to get into an organization and just obfuscating them so that they get past some of the ways in which our security solutions work. To counter all of this, organisations have invested in deploying more layers in their security at the edge of their networks, sandboxing solutions, all of these different kinds of things. But the key thing here is that these solutions have stayed focused at the edge of the network. And that means that if something does get through, it can remain undetected for a very long period of time. Once the threat is inside the network, there's nothing looking for it. And this is one of the fundamental differences with Arbor. Some of our solutions, use Flow to gather information from the routers that organisations have deployed across their enterprise infrastructure. We can correlate that flow to build up a picture of what's actually going on right across the enterprise.